fighting. I think I it's supposed to be like it, Armageddon, but it's oh, Botgeddon. Oh, Botgeddon. Yeah. yeah. Bot, <laughs> Botgeddon. <laughs> Botgeddon, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's okay, Ashley. I've been messing up on that too, so I, I won't give you any uh, any grief for that. But yeah, so Bogdan 2019. Okay, so today is Battle of the Bots. All right. So right now um, we have these makers here and these creators who are testing out their bots, and we're with the assistant producer of Bogdan, Brent. Okay, so tell us a little bit about what's going on here today. So we have a tournament with different class of battle bots, mm -hmm. and so these are combat robots. They have one pound, three pound, or even um, lighter than that, mm -hmm. and they go head to head in a tournament, and last robot standing wins. Fantastic, and they win one of these cool trophies right here, plus bragging rights, of course. Uh, but you know, we don't want them to actually battle. This is just where they warm up, right? And why don't we want them to battle right now on live TV? <laughs> yeah, well, they're doing some uh, pretext, and yeah. if they were to do an actual combat, they would get destroyed yeah. <laughs> before the tournament and have to yeah. use some of their spare parts. So. Yeah, and we, don't, and we don't want that, right? <laughs> Absolutely not. Absolutely not. So again, the Rockland Mini Maker Fair is going on all day. The doors are officially open. It is free to attend, plus free parking right here at Sierra College. I want to point that out. It goes until 4 p.m. So how long can people expect the um, the battles to be going on for? Yeah, we do it in a, in a round robin kind of a tournament style. And so it will be starting about 30 minutes and then it'll be running throughout the day. And usually we wrap up towards the end of the day for the final competition. But the middle ones are better because they have the robots in the most working condition. Absolutely. Now, what goes into making these? I mean, there's a lot that goes into it, but explain to people at home because I can't imagine that this is super easy. Oh, well, there's a lot of uh, different uh, metalworking, there's design, there's general um, piloting or, or, or just steering. Mm -hmm. So a lot of them use uh, various robot um, components as well as RC components. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot of the same type of things you would do if you're into RC cars. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So again, now do you have a bot? <laughs> um, although I, I've got some bots at home, they're not mine. My kids do it. Um, they're actually working in the, the metal shop right now, uh, making some additions, so they're not participating this year. Fantastic. So how important do you think it is for you know people, you know younger people especially, to come out here and see this type of stuff? Oh, this is great. This is a great um, way to see applied STEM mm -hmm. um, in order to actually understand why you would use math and engineering for um, different entertainment and just different practice because when you're you're going into an engineering field, this is a really, really good um, environment to just get some fundamentals. Absolutely. I totally agree with you. And you know what? Again, if you want to come out here and be inspired, Sierra College all day. I mean, as you can see over here, we already have our huge crowd gathering, which is fantastic. It goes until 4 p.m. today. It's a great free and fun event for the entire family. Uh, did I mention it's free and there's free parking? That's pretty big because there's not always free parking out here at Sierra College. So we'll send it on uh, to you ladies back in the studio. And we hope to see you guys out here <laughs> I today. I would have, have so these much guys. fun at that bot <laughs> You? Yeah. You just tear up that bot <laughs>